Yeah, how's it going guys? It's Richie Unicorn Caller here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are back with the news, so sit back, relax, and yeah, enjoy the show. Alright, you already know, the Firecat plushie um, still available for the next eight days, so if you still want to get a chance to claim it, um, or order it, um, there you go, have fun with that. The bonus is that everybody that, you know, purchase the plushie, they get, like, a little free in-game Firecat plushie housing item code, um, so make sure to, uh, you know, get yourself a Firecat plushie. And then over here, and this was during when I was, um, off my little, uh, Wizard 101 hiatus, but if you don't know, they do have the little KI store, um, available, which is basically kind of like this new, improved type of, like, merchandise shop, which is really cool. They have a lot of cool designs, um, the cup looks cool. I was interested in getting the hoodie, but I think I want a little bit more pizzazz on it, but... The shirts also look nice. It all just looks cool. So um, if you do want to order some stuff, some little merchandise for Wizard 101, there you go. Have fun with that. Over here, we got a little uh, special deal going on. You already see this uh, all the time. Um, this is basically a one year of membership, Wizard 101 membership, um, for $59.95. So, you know, big savings right there. This um, promotion is going to last all the way through April 2nd. So make sure to check that out if you want to save some money and get yourself a one year membership. Have fun with that. And then over here, have you had a bad day? I did yesterday. Uh, farming spellments for hours. Are you taking one down? Maybe hop on the new Storm Rider mount, which is now available in the Crown Shop. It's going to be available all the way through, I believe, June 19th. Um, so, yeah. Have fun with that. Enjoy. A little broom mount. And then over here, the next KI Live is scheduled for May 25th. They're going to talk about the state of the games, answer your questions, and celebrate Pirate 101's upcoming update. So, Pirate 101 players, I hope you guys are excited because I, I've been hearing it. It sounds pretty good. So, definitely make sure you check out with that. Of course, we'll be covering the Pirate 101 update news and all that stuff as per usual. Over here for Wizard 101, um, you have the Wyverns Horde Pack Bundle. It's available in the Crown Shop all the way through the 31st. Um, oh, yeah, 31st of next month. Yeah, 431. So, um, again, have fun with that. And then over here, free training point buyback is available through the 31st, March 31st. Um, now, this one's really good. And if you don't know, you can talk to Mr. Lincoln. Mr. Lincoln is located all the way in Ravenwood. But another bonus for this is that you can actually reset your Spellment Pass completely for free. And this is only for um, the active people with a membership. Of course, this is a membership exclusive kind of thing. But yeah, you can basically just go into your spell writing tab and you can just reset whatever Spellments um, you want. And I pretty much went through the hat of just resetting all the spellments just because I've had so many like spells that I don't use anymore. Um, I'm kind of over like the whole dual schooling thing and stuff like that, so I'm not gonna do that no more. Um, of course, you can reset it right here, and as you can see, free for members. Um, you don't gotta pay no crowns or anything. And we we also talked about the rumor about this, um, you know, costing gold potentially, but apparently they did say that. I guess they're like working on it or it's kind of like not there yet. You know, we, you know, I don't know what's going on with that. But um, again, if you have a membership, I would highly recommend you do that, um, especially with all the spells always getting a change or with new spellment paths or being added and stuff like that. Would highly recommend that you check that out. But going back to the news, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, yesterday, last night's fiasco, and as you can see, just a flood of spellment drops. Um, obviously, this definitely was not supposed to happen. Um, like I said, we got the update uh, yesterday, and, you know, as usual with any other update, it always releases, you know, unpolished, untested, and blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, there's always something that goes wrong with the updates and blah, 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 but 
as you can see, got a lot of spellments. And this is from the boss Zarathax in the Tower of Archives um, from Dragonspire. And uh, basically what would happen is that you could use one of the uh, scroll of knowledge or the, you know, scales of knowledge, which are the level scaling features that are in some of these dungeons. And then it basically acts like an elixir. You get it for like two hours and then you can, you know, have the decision to just, I guess, leave or basically just do the entirety of the dungeon. <laughs> and the thing is... um. You could basically just go to any boss you want. You could go to like Crocotopia bosses or, you know, or Xerathax and Dragonspire. And yeah, you could basically just farm them as like, I guess a level scale down as a level 100. And you would basically be getting like level 100 ranked type of spellments. You see, I got Rebirth, Orthrus, King Artorias, Woolly Mammoth. I got a lot of skeletal dragons. I don't know why. I was getting spammed with so much skeletal dragons rather it was farming it for drops or the cantrip chest i was just getting spammed with so many skeletal dragons um but yeah um they did apparently patch it and i'm sure someone out there is gonna find more bugs and glitches within this um update um but a lot of people had questions about like where exactly to um farm some of these spellments and we're going to read it here. And now, since they did patch it, apparently, um, this is basically the legit way to actually farm Spellman. So, it says here, Arc 2 Spellmans are here. Each world from Celestia to Chrysalis now has an associated spell. So, you look down this list, and it actually shows you which type of rank spells um, you need, or basically what area that these rank spells are in. So, for example, Celestia... Any type of 7-pip spell, such as Fire Dragon, you would basically go to Celestia, which I believe also has the Frost Giant Spellments as well, so make sure you would check that out. Then for Zafaria, this is where your 8-pip rank spells would be. So for example, I was farming for Rebirth, and I got a lot from the Cantrip Chest. Um, I did try a little bit of the um, Mirror Lake. Um, I don't know, I just didn't like the Mirror Lake farming because... When you get to the last boss encounter, um, there wasn't really a chance that you would actually get the Rebirth Spellmans, you know? Like I said, I was getting spammed with so much Skeletal Dragons. It was insane. Um, Avalon is for 9 pips, such as Woolly Mammoth. Um, Azteca is for 10 pips, such as Avenging Fossil and, of course, Storm Owl. And then for Chrysalis, it has King Artorias. Don't ask me why Chrysalis has King Artorias. I don't make the rules. But... And also, for um, available for any wizard of any level, right, this is basically where you can still get these spellments. Through the Pet Retriever Adventure Powers, which I just do not have for the life of me. I have all the pets I have. I just have never had that type of pet made. Um, Cantrip Chest, which, again, I was farming in Zafaria just to try and get those uh, Rebirth ones. And then Main and Side Crest Rewards. So, you know, if you're doing a quest or if you're doing some main missions um, around that area, I guess you can also get some spellments from there. The Crying Sky Raid, which a little bit of a difficult feat. I kind of wish that they added some to the Dragon Spire Raid, but I understand that the loot pool is probably too massive at the point. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely a method I highly wouldn't recommend. <laughs> and then this part is where it gets a little tricky. And it never specified, like, this bullet point never really specified anything, but it says various bosses throughout Arc 2 Worlds now available to any level. And this didn't really make the whole lot of sense to me because, like, number one, it doesn't really, like, tell you which of these various bosses actually drop the spellments. And then also, do you have to, like, level scale yourself down in order to actually get those spellments. So, I don't know. Maybe there are bosses out there that you can just farm it at any level. And you don't have to, like, worry about the scale of knowledge. But it's just, like, sometimes when it comes to these patch notes, it's, like, super duper vague. And it's just, like, really hard to, like, understand where they're coming from. But, um, 
yeah, that's another way to get the spell mint. And then we talked about the scales of knowledge. Um, these are basically the scales of knowledge. Temple of Storms, Crocotopia. I believe you'll get level scale to level 20. And then you got Big Ben, Marley Bone, which I believe level scales you to like level 30 or 40, I believe. Uh, Jade Palace, Mushu, which I believe is for level 40. And then the final countdown, Dragon Spire. This is for level 50 scaling. And then Trial of Spears, um, Celestia. I believe this is level 60 scaling. And then Zafaria, Mirror Lake. This is going to level scale you to level 70. That's what I was doing. Keep of uh, Ganeleon, um, Avalon. I believe that's going to do level 80. And then uh, Shibalba, Azteca. That's level 90. And then Shadow Palace, Chrysalis is basically level 100. So yeah, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I was basically using the Shadow Palace Chrysalis Scale of Knowledge to scale myself to level 100 to get some of the higher up spellments. And that's basically where you would find all of those scales of knowledge. You can also do a little bit of cross training. Um, basically any wizard could learn rebirth and any wizard could basically learn like stuff like Scarecrow and stuff like that. So it's really cool. You can basically check out your Ravenwood school professor to train those. You can also still unlock them through the um, school quest and stuff like that. The rank 10 spells can now be acquired at level 80 as well. So make sure to check that out. And another reminder that you will be required to train the associated spells before you can actually upgrade their tier via the spellments. So first you gotta train for it, and then you'll be allowed to upgrade it. So that's basically a little bit, I guess, in, of an FAQ about the spellments. And at the end of the day, it is a chore. That's why I was staying up so late um, doing that. Um, whatever it was, a glitch, a malfunction, an exploit, I don't even know what it was. Um, luckily, nobody got banned, at least from my knowledge. But, uh, yeah, hopefully everybody did get a chance to get some uh, spellments. Because, honestly, those Rebirth spellments, good luck. <laughs> and the thing about Cantrip Chess, though, the thing about Cantrip Chess is that it requires three players, right? You need three players to cast Magic Touch on the Cantrip Chest. And this is basically going to cost you um, five energy each, right? And, again, that's going to be costly on your energy. Um, that's also going to be dependent on if you have a group of people. And, you know, also dependent on luck if you get the right spellments. You know, sometimes you might not get lucky. You might just get a bunch of skeletal dragons or something like that. Um, but at the end of the day, hopefully you guys uh, have fun with that. I wish everybody luck with the uh, rebirth spellments because I upgraded mine and I'm so happy about it. So, hopefully everybody does... Uh, you know, have fun with that. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, going back to some news, we have some Wizard 101 Europe news. Not much, but they have the Gold Church Horde Pack, which is available through the 31st. So, again, make sure you check that out on the Wizard 101 Europe side. And then for Pirate 101 through 31st, you can save 25% off on select Aquili Aquilian. Aqua. I, I, can't, I can't pronounce that. I can't. Aquilian Companions in the Crown Shop. Take advantage while you can. And then over here, another little sale going on here. A select few of Aquilian themed pets and mounts are still on sale. It looks like you got a little Minotaur pet and a little rock mount. So, yeah, make sure to check that out. And then that pretty much wraps it up for the news, at least for now. So, yeah! Yeah! That pretty much wraps it up. Now, I'm going to make a separate video kind of showcasing some of the new spellments, specifically the life spellments, because, of course, you guys know um, I am a healer, but they also added some modifications to some of the spells. So, we got the regenerate spellment right here, and check this out. If you go to the bottom path, it actually applies two heal over times. We were always wondering what this number meant in front of the heal over time symbol and it turns out it actually applies like two of them in total so they were basically like kind of like i guess split up this heal in a sense and yeah you'll get two heal over times instead of like just one you know if you want just one you can go to the top path but 
I just think that's so crazy. And then for Spree Swarm, Spree Swarm had like pretty. I would have to say there's a buff. I, I would have to say there's like a, kind of a big buff. So over here, you can divide your Spree Swarm. It's one of those targeted spells. So you can basically target which like you know you know person you want to cast this on, right? Whatever wizard you want to cast this on. And the cool thing about this is that it clears up to two traps. And it also places a incoming healing aura on the target. So, I can't wait to use this in, like, Darkmoor. Like, I don't know. The amount of combos you can do is just insane. And, uh, and of course, last but not least, Rebirth, which I wish all my um, life wizards the best of luck. But this is also busted, Right, and again, you can select whatever target you want, and it basically clears up to five traps and also places a plus 20 blade on the target. So, again, that is just that's just busted, man. It's just it is a busted, but I can't wait to test all this stuff out, so be on the lookout for that upload. And, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for that. Oh, and another spell, man. Oh, wait. Another spell, man, I've been getting interested in is Grendel's Amend. Because, for some reason, I've had a lot of these. But, Grendel's Amends. And this was actually... they. I think they already, like, did this. Like, this isn't, like, anything new at all. I think this has already been a thing for a while. Um, but, the bottom path for Grendel Amends is actually pretty interesting. So, instead of the heal, I wanted to go to the shield route. And look at this, it does basically two absorb shields, 525. So that's like a, a total of like a thousand damage that you can suck up. Definitely going to be using this on a bunch of storm wizards that get obliterated, right? But like I said, it's just it's just a cool update, man. Just a overall cool update. Well, not the Grendel Amends part, this was already been a thing. But everything else though about this update is decent. And again, the Spellment farming, a little bit rough, especially now that they patched the one um, method, obviously. But yeah, Spellment farming is going to be very rough, right? Just because I have a Rebirth upgraded doesn't mean I'm going to give them the pass. Be like, oh yeah, Spellments are fine. No, Spellment farming is still going to be an issue for years and years to come. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how everybody feels about the current farming methods and I'm sure somebody will find some more glitches out there. But that's going to wrap it up for this news. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out and have a wonderful day.